So we are asked in this question, which row gives two features of graphs that provide the same information? We're told gradients of displacement or velocity time graphs, feature one. And for feature two, we're told area under all the three different graphs, velocity, acceleration, or displacement. So let's consider displacement, velocity, and acceleration. So to go from displacement to velocity, to go from velocity to acceleration, you have to find the gradient. And to go from acceleration to velocity, and then velocity to displacement, so to go back up, we have to find the area underneath the graph. So let's then break down what each of these different features represent. So the gradient of a displacement time graph gives us velocity. And then the gradient of a velocity time graph gives us acceleration. And then the area under a velocity time graph, if we look at this, the area underneath the velocity time graph gives us displacement. Area under, underneath an acceleration time graph gives us velocity. And an area underneath a displacement time graph gives us, well, nothing. The area underneath a displacement time graph doesn't give us anything. So then it is option B, where the gradient of a displacement time graph and the area underneath an acceleration time graph give us the same thing, give us velocity. So then that would be B.